super sweet, fluffy. It has all kinds of good flavors. Not what you're expecting in a kawachi. The dough is perfection. You can do so much with it. Chewy and soft and fluffy. It's like a little pillow of love. I love it. My name is Batsana. Welcome to Koala Kalachi. Butter, sugar, 12 eggs, and we use only the yolk. Baking, I discovered, is just like science. Now we get yeast. I don't cook at home, nor do I bake. I mean, baking was tedious and it took too long. Kind of self-taught. YouTube is incredible. Okay, you let it go. I sold my last company, which is Creative Co-op Space in LA. I came to visit Texas and I started noticing like literally every donut shop had these things called kolaches. And in LA, we don't have that. A kolache is basically a semi-sweet, soft, pillowy dough. And it goes fabulous with everything. On this tray, we have blackberry, blueberry, peach, cherry, strawberry. We're Czech, so I've always grown up with kolaches, and she nails it. It reminds me of a like dinner roll. You know how when you eat dinner roll, you can dip it with anything and everything, like mashed potatoes, beef stew, you know? So I was like, oh my god, why won't they do other flavors. Corn, black bean, boudin, sausage, and gravy, and brisket. This is pork belly. Look at that. Who wants some of me? So now you just roll it, literally. It's that simple. It's like a dumpling. So I experiment literally with almost everything from breakfast to lunch and dinner. We love biscuit and gravy in Texas. So I did a sausage and gravy kolache. Sausage and gravy is comfort food. It's warm bread. And you get the sausage gravy, it's just, it's, you know, a nice cup of coffee and that's perfect. Now for lunch, I went a little crazy and did a chicken, feta, and spinach. Our most popular bites is the brisket, of course, we're in Texas. Smoked brisket's great in a kolache. What else did you want in Texas but a barbecue sandwich to start off the day? Smoky brisket, uh, absolutely delicious. I'm a big fan of the boudin or the sausage and gravy. I'm from California and like literally almost everyone's vegetarian and now the trend is hitting Texas. So like our most popular one right now is leeks and egg whites, black bean enchilada. People always ask, is there ground beef in there? No, there's no ground beef. It's literally organic colored bell pepper, organic onions, and organic black beans. And I experiment with jackfruit. This one is actually jackfruit nacho cheese, and this is jackfruit barbecue. And it tastes just like very tender meat. Just the other week I had a jackfruit kolache, which I, I never thought to even eat a jackfruit before, but she puts in whatever her imagination creates. You want an original fruity pebbles, Nutella, or guava? The cinnamon roll is the best cinnamon roll I've I had since I've moved from New York City. Our cinnamon roll is actually our kolache dough. It's made fresh that morning. We are very big on using real cinnamon sugar. We do not skimp, as you can see. Fruity pebbles! The taste of these little pebbles, they actually come through. It's Texas. Everything is big and better, right? Why go small? Look at that. I use four fingers to measure it. Bam! Look how pretty they look. Close it up and it's big. It's like the size of your face. How can you not have fun doing this? I mean, look at that. Perfection. Fruity Pebbles cinnamon roll was awesome. Just biting into it, the crunch that those Fruity Pebbles pieces gave was excellent. I just thought it was amazing. The taste and the flavor, it was just delicious. There's an enchilada one, there's a pizza one. I mean, this is crazy. Not too many have this much variety. We just moved here, so it's really cool. We found a really good clutch shop nearby. Barbecue and Mexican and Thai and all kinds of different types of kolaches that you can't really get anywhere else. I just love being creative, period. And I think through pastry, it makes me bring my inner child out and be very imaginative. Sweet, savory, or whatever it is. I mean, there's so many things you can do. There's usually something for everybody and a taste for everything you can get. Oh. When you pull it out from the oven and you see it crispy brown golden, I feel like it got arms like, eat me, eat me. And I'm like, okay, I'm coming for you. I call it quality control. At the end of the day, we sell it and I'm so blessed. I can't complain.